Hello, and welcome to this quick video showing you the powerful capabilities of Compress integrating with HTRI. Today, I'd like to show you how our bi-directional interface will help you in estimating and designing your heat exchangers. Today, I will go through and I'll import this heat exchanger that you see in front of you. This is a simple YouTube exchanger that was imported from HTRI. To begin, what you'll do is open up Compress and simply come up to the file menu. You will notice that there is an option for the HTRI interface and you can select open HTRI file. Once you've located the file that you'd like to import, simply select it and click open. The HTRI import will then go through and possibly make mechanical changes that Compress is detected that isn't not normally handled on the thermal side. For example, things like normalization you see here are things that would be handled from a, a mechanical side. Once everything's brought in, you can then see what was brought over from HTRI, what was a calculated result, a design assumption, and inputs that were direct from the HTRI file. And everything is color-coded here for you as well. And as you can see, the heat exchanger has been modeled within a matter of seconds. So not only are we saving productivity time versus having to model it, we're also making sure that all the information has accurately come over from the thermal designer. From here, you can simply run code calculations uh, to check the mechanical calculations to make sure there's no deficiencies as well. Now, if you do need to make any mechanical changes, such as re um, reposition a nozzle, adjust channel lengths, things like that, once you're finished making your changes, you can simply come back up to the file menu, select HTRI interface, and select the option Save as HTRI file. The next step in our tutorial is exporting this model. I'm going to export the solid model file so that we can bring it into CodeWars Cost or Utility. Again, this is an included feature with our compressed software. I simply just check, click on the 3D export option right here. And I'll export an XML 3D file, like so. and the model has now been successfully exported. Next, I'll drag over Microsoft Excel, which our Coster utility is an add-in for. As you can see here, we have a Coder tab, and then we can quickly import that XML 3D file that I had just exported from Compress. Simply click the Open XML 3D file, locate the file, and click Open. And as you can see, all of the information has been populated in, as a bill of material. You can see here we have pressure envelope items, nozzles and elbows, flange items, gasketing, bolting, items like that. There is also a bend schedule for a U-tube as well. Now the cost of utility takes the cost factor approach when costing a vessel. For example, the cost of steel, as we know, varies day to day. So what we can do is simply type in the cost of steel that we know for each component, and that will adjust all of the information for us. So I'll just simply fill out some information right now. And as you do this, you can see here at the bottom, the total price is going to be adjusted based on that. And then that will give you an accurate estimate to go back to your customer in order to secure the job that you're bidding on. So there you have it. Within a matter of minutes, I was able to successfully bring in a heat exchanger from HTRI, look at the mechanical side of it, and then export the model to our cost utility to help out your estimation process. If you have any questions about what you've seen today, please contact sales at codeware.com or call us at 941-927-927. 2670.